for the first time in my life, I could meditate. I've been trying to meditate for 15 years. And I would just sit in, in, in previously sit in meditation and just be like, oh my God, my brain. Oh my God, what, what should I be doing? I shouldn't be here. I should be doing other things. There's so many things I need to do. Ticking off my to-do list, talk, thinking about my grocery list, you know. Um, and now, because I'm preparing my mind through breath, and I'm getting, I'm getting that kind of chatter through, you know, that, that strong yogic breath and the cleansing breath and I'm calming, calming, calming and then taking it into that parasympathetic nervous system. I can now sit for an hour and, and it feels like five minutes. And I've never been able to do that. Like, and if anybody even eight months ago said, yeah, you'll be able to meditate for an hour, I would never would have believed them. I have not seen you guys for a long, long time. It's Coco, and I am so excited to be back talking to you again. Um, some of you may know me from The Big Chat, and this will be going onto The Big Chat platform, but actually we are really excited to be coming out with a new uh, podcast, vodcast series called Let's Chat Change. And what truly inspired... Oh, I'm getting tingles just saying this now. What truly inspired me... Um, I've been wanting to do something like this for a long, long time, a long, long time. Um, probably a couple of years actually, but it's not really come to me. And then just this weekend, I did an amazing, an amazing, amazing teacher training in some, uh, I'm not even going to talk about it until I introduce the founder um, and the person that introduced me to the founder. And it's just transformed everything. And within, within about an hour, I was like, we're doing Let's Chat Change. This is what we're doing. 24 hours later, I'm here with these guys and I am so delighted to have them as the first ever episode of Let's Chat Change. So I would love to introduce you to the founder of Bionic Breathwork, Terry. Hello, Terry. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my God. And you may recognize this other beautiful face, Jamie, the founder of SPN Lifestyle. Hello, Jamie. Hi, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hi, hi. Coco. <laughs> I know she's like, hi, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, basically this weekend... I did a beautiful breathwork training, which I'm now qualified to to teach, which is Yay, go, go. thank you. And just to give a bit of feedback for people first, I went on an amazing retreat with Jamie, with one of Jamie's retreats last year in Ibiza, which I thought was going to be DJ retreat for me. Um, and I'd, the DJ was amazing, don't get me wrong, and the yoga and everything else that we did. But Terry did some amazing breathwork stuff there. And that was when I first met Terry. And obviously, like, you know, beautiful being, fell in love with your energy. Um, and then... Yeah, kind of just that it just sort of landed like that. And then I've been through my own stuff, as we all have. I've unpacked quite a lot over the last few months. Um, but then saw that Jamie was, you know, training and doing and teaching and it kept popping up. It kept popping up. And then I just like literally just reached out to Jamie. was like, I want to do this. I want to do this. And she was like, come join. And so just this weekend, we've had three days. So for those that don't know, before we get to Jamie and her her elements, just tell people, if you can, in a nutshell, Bionic Breastwork. Okay, thank you for that introduction. Um, first of all, there's truly no coincidences. So the fact that we connected in Ibiza and the fact that I connected with Jamie in Costa Rica, again, no coincidences there. And that's a lot about the breathwork is just trusting that, you're, you are where you are supposed to be at the moment you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So I did my first breathwork class about a year and a half ago in the U.S. And during that class, I had this amazing vision and a download that this is what I'm supposed to be doing for the rest of my life. And I'm supposed to be out there training and, and healing. And not only that, but, you know, teaching other breathwork facilitators because there's not enough breathwork facilitators out there. So my goal with Bionic Breathwork was really just to create my own competition, mm -hmm. to go out there and make sure that there are qualified facilitators getting this type of work out. Breathwork is the fastest growing modality in all of health and wellness right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's been around, obviously, for centuries, but because it's a, you know, low or no cost modality and governments and big pharma cannot profit off of it, mm -hmm. it's been kind of, you know, pressed down. Mm -hmm. So... 
I really created Bionic to get the word out and share this modality with as many people as I can. We're going to conquer the U.S., we're going to conquer the U.K., and then Europe and the Middle East, and I'm just so excited to have you as one of the ambassadors. Me um, too. Yeah, and Jamie, of course, <laughs> yeah. So just, you know, I, I'm just thrilled that I've connected with you guys, and you guys are going to be the next gen. It's, and, and Jamie, I mean, you mentioned Costa Rica. Yeah. So, Jamie, that's like, I mean, surely everyone knows SPN by now, right? Come on, you've got Studio in Tamage Wells, which is my favorite place to be. Not only now can you go there and ride hot yoga, Pilates bar, like, but now we can go there and listen to you DJ, DJ Cookie. I mean, what can we not do? And now, breath, like, seriously, retreats, it's. It's exploded for you, right? Yeah, but, you yeah. know, talk a bit about what you do and then like how you met Terry and how this is all coming together for you guys. Yeah. So I think, um, you know, when I started SPN, it was really about fitness. Mm -hmm. And now it feels like it's moving into more about well-being and and sort of mental well-being. And I think post-pandemic where people crave something different and we're sort of moving with it. And um I discovered breathwork with Terry in Costa Rica a year ago. And it was one of the most transformative experiences I've ever had. More so than, you know, uh, plant medicine and mm -hmm. other journeys that I've had. I just felt like, um, yeah, I, I, you know, the, I saw things that I kind of had buried. I, I, I experienced things that I'd forgotten about and, and it wasn't just in that moment. It was for weeks and months afterwards that I really felt the effects of it. And it got me on this journey of sort of, you know, researching and looking into how breath, um, you know, can help with anxiety and stress and, um, you know, other areas, um, things that I was suffering from myself. And I started just doing my own, creating my own breath work you know, researching and finding other modalities of doing my own practice every day. While, you know, when I can, when I could see Terry and do her amazing bionic breath work, you know, obviously indulging in that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I feel like she really changed my trajectory in that respect. Like um, she just opened my eyes to, um, you know, just a, a, a different state of consciousness and, um and yeah, and so I invited her to come to Ibiza with us for our Learn to DJ retreat and um, to do breath work because I felt like people needed to experience it. You know, you can't really describe it. It's such a unique experience. And until you've done it, it's um, yeah, it's just it's just incredible. So um, she came on the retreat and, um, you know, worked her magic <laughs> and everybody was in love with it. Everybody. And I think. Um, you know, we all had such amazing experiences from it. And I just feel that, you know, more people need to breathe, more people need to, we need to share this with the world because, you know, if it can be that transformative in one session, imagine, you know, if we're all doing it, how, how brilliant the world will be. Mm. Oh, I'm lost for words. Not often I'm lost for words, but I'm actually lost for words there. This may be your first. I know. What's yeah. going, what are you guys doing to me? You're like making me quiet. <laughs> it's, but it, it it really is, as Jamie says, tr I've not, exp I mean, this weekend, I, I've felt like I've unpacked a lot of trauma and there's still probably a load more to go and that's okay. It's all part of learning and evolving and growing. But for me, it was being held in a space where just being I mean at one point I was laughing so loudly it was you know just this release of emotion and f just everything coming out and then I was crying and there's so much that comes out and you're just you know for, for those that don't know you're, you're you wear blindfolds don't you so you have your eyes I mean you don't have to but it's more immersive, I would say, if you're blindfolded and you're lying down, so you're supine and you're rested and you've got blankets and obviously people will see clips of this when we put this out there. But it's the actual breath itself, Terry. Like without without giving away all your gold, baby, because we want everyone to like check out Bionic Breathwork and check out all the stuff that Jamie's doing at SPN Lifestyle. How would you explain to them about the breath? What what it's because like, you're good at the science stuff. 
You know it's my favorite part, yeah. the science stuff. I love the science part of this. <laughs> so it is, we're at a time in history where the, the woo-woo and the science are starting to come together. Yes. And I certainly did not create breath work. <laughs> well, um, it was initially, the style of this breath work, it really kind of is able to hear, heal trauma because it works somatically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've had clients come in that have been maybe going to talk therapy for 20 years, and they're still not getting to the root cause of the trauma because a lot of times our body is so smart that if it is not able to deal with a traumatic experience, it has the ability to suppress it. Mm -hmm. And when you're in talk therapy, you're talking from here, you're talking from your prefrontal cortex, which is your default mode network. Mm -hmm. And you're not getting really to the root cause of the trauma if it has been suppressed. This style of breath work is, is such that we breathe in a way that we highly oxygenate the blood and then we offload CO2. And what ends up happening is an effect called transient hypofrontality. And that so, was so big so words, cool, was that? big yes. words, yeah. We're so scientific here. I love it. <laughs> but you know, to simplify that, it's just a shut off of the monkey mind or the ego. Um, the prefrontal cortex is there to keep us safe, and it's developed uh, so strongly as we kind of get anytime after the age of about sixteen. It's really strong, and we just kind of go through our everyday auto automatic functions. This allows that prefrontal cortex to kind of shut down and take a nap. And then we get into these non-ordinary states of consciousness where you're really open and we're bringing things up energetically, mm -hmm. up and out, which is why people experience these intense emotions. Emotion is just energy in motion. So we've, you know, anytime we start feeling things we don't want to feel, mm -hmm. we tend to numb them out, push them down. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel that. And they just kind of get pushed down and stay in there. Breathwork allows us to feel, and we have to feel it to heal. Mm -hmm. So we allow those emotions to come up and out. And sometimes they manifest as laughter. Sometimes they manifest as crying, wailing, uh, intense body movement. So it can look kind of crazy. But at the end of the session, everybody just experiences this sense of connectedness and gratitude mm -hmm. and joy. Um, it is very similar to a psychedelic experience or a plant, plant medicine mm -hmm. experience, but we're using only our breath. So mm -hmm. you're in control of your journey the whole time. This style of breath work was first uh, invented by Stanislav Grof. He was a psychiatrist in the late 60s and 70s, and he was treating conditions like stress, anxiety, PTSD very effectively with psychedelics. Uh, then in the U.S., the government decided to make those drugs class one, and we didn't have access to healing people. And that's when we had this big influx of SSRIs, is what we call it in the U.S., um, antidepressants. Yeah. And that's not treating the, the problem. It's just covering it up. So Stan created this type of breath that allows us to have the same function. If you look at neuroimaging and you look at biofeedback, it's basically doing the same thing but using just your breath by offloading CO2 in this way. So it really is a way that people that might be scared of plant medicine or not want to do that route can get the same healing benefits in a therapeutic session. We're session. Um, we are guiding the session so everybody is very safe. It's in a safe container. And it really is just beautiful that our body is so intelligent and we have all of the tools we need to heal ourselves. We don't need the big pharma. That's, and that, I mean, yeah, I mean, Jamie, how, that's beautiful, Terry. Thanks. How would you add to that? You know, there's, I mean, how would you add to that? You can't exactly, but is there anything you would like to add to that from, you know, your perspective as well? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think the science just, it gives people the um, sort of reassurance mm -hmm. that it works. Yes. That takes it away yeah. from it being so woo-woo, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it's, I think when you can, when you can, you know, say, listen, you're going to have this amazing experience. You're going to, you know, you might, you know, dip into some trauma. You might dip into some areas that you might feel uncomfortable doing. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that the science is there and, and they can, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I, I've been treating a lot. I've been working with a lot of men lately mm -hmm. and, you know, men typically, um, you know, they like, they're like, what is this? What, 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 what are you going to do with me? You know? And I'm like, you're just going to breathe and you're going to be totally in control. I promise you. Yeah. And, um, and just, you know, after a session, it's amazing. They, you know, they all say like, it's like, I've peeled a layer. Like I've, I've, I've let, I, I'm lighter. Like mm -hmm. I've let something go and they can't put their finger on it. 
But, you know, I think the fact that, you know, you're going deep and you're going to areas not really even aware mm -hmm. of, you know, I think it, it just, yeah, I think the science is super important and it's, yeah, it just gives it legs really. It's, and, and it doesn't, it, it's <laughs> because you just don't know what's going to come up. That's the thing. And it's every, I mean, over the weekend, we did a lot of breathwork sessions, obviously, because we had, there were six of us on the training and which was the perfect collective for me. It was really, you know, we got to experience Terry's giving us a breathwork session and Jamie. And then obviously we had some smaller sessions, which was really, I mean, this morning, that was like, I, I'm just so excited as a, my other fellow facilitators now who are just like, we're all like saying to each other, we could just do this in the morning. We can just wake up and just like, <laughs> you know, just get some breath going. And I mean, it, they're all kind of things that we will probably already do already. But, you know, like Tony Robbins, like I know we're, you know, mutual fan of Tony Robbins and he likes to jump up and down his trampoline before he gets on stage. You know, that's his thing. And it's just all these different things that people do and moving their body, but their breath as well. But what I love about it is it, you do need a guide because the, it is that, it's that breath of connection. It's, it's kind of like there's a lot of inhale, there's a lot of effort on the inhale and then it's a release on the exhale. So it's not like the, the it's not like the forced inhale, forced exhale that there might be with other breath work. And that's what's really interesting, but it it is, it's hard work. It is hard work. and you push people to, you don't push people, you encourage people to go beyond their limits. And I think that's where the magic really happens. That's for me, had I not had you guys there with me or some of my, my other now fellow collective friends, come on, you know, Coco, you can do this. Like br breathe more, like you play uplifting music. Everyone has their own style of music and feeling. And we all just had such different experiences. It's just amazing what you tap into. And it is like I'm. I mean, I haven't done ayahuasca or anything. I've always. I am actually, you know, ridiculously with what I've done in my lifetime. I'm a bit scared of that because that that stuffs you. Know, which is crazy because you know, back in the days I was a bit of a raver. I've probably you know I probably shouldn't be here right now. Someone was looking out for me. But all I'm saying is that this. I, I've had visions this weekend. I have had. I've been visited by people that are no longer on this planet or realm and I have been more connected with source as I see it and feel it than I've ever been in my life honestly and I'm like not ever gonna let that go now like that is a gift that everyone can touch so thank I, you I totally agree with that and as much as I'm into the science part of it and that's kind of my thing is the neuroscience around it uh the woo woo stuff is just magical and it's very common for you to have people cross in and, and visit you from the other side. And it's very common to have these mystical, ma magical experiences during breath work. And that is nothing that the facilitator is doing. It's nothing that I'm doing. It's really that you're just opening your mind. I think there's an expression that you have to shut off your brain to open your mind or something to that. Effect, and this right? is, yeah. And this yeah. is like, you, you know, because I mean, I'm a hypnotherapist as well. Yeah. And this is why that I think this is going to really add to my practice as well, because it is that shutting off that, like you say, the frontal cortex brain. It makes sense because your creativity is back here. That's where your creativity source is. And when this is, when you're just working here, which like you say, this monkey brain, which we're all in all the time, that fight or flight, just like, oh my God, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, which I'm in, a, you know, way too much my own. When I stopped teaching yoga because of an injury, I lost that side of it. You know, I'm very yin and yang. I'm Gemini. I'm like, about, you know, both sides of it. But if I don't, feed into that softer side of myself I I'm just up front all the time and that's just the stress that we're all carrying around we need to shut that down to let the stuff come through that's really nourishing for us and healing yeah I'm so glad that you mentioned that because a lot of what we teach in bionic is taking control of your autonomic nervous system so mm -hmm. we have two functions we have the fight or flight where we're in the sympathetic nervous system yeah. And then we have rest and digest, which is a parasympathetic. And the problem that we have in our everyday lives now 
is that most people are highly imbalanced and, and there's so much and they're sympathetic at all times mm. and we don't get the opportunity to rest and digest. Mm. And so even our everyday life back in the day was like, okay, I'm getting chased by this lion. So my stress hormones are going to spike and the epinephrine and the cortisol and everything so that I can survive. It's a really a survival mode. Mm -hmm. And then once that, you know, that threat is gone, you're either dead because you were eaten by that lion or you escaped it, then you had the chance to transition back into your parasympathetic and really kind of recover. But in everyday life now, we're like, oh my gosh, I'm late for work. My boss is going to kill me. I have to pick up the kids. And we're so much in our sympathetic. We never have the opportunity to just properly rest and digest. And it's exhausting. And that's why people are walking around and, 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 and they're just so unhealthy and so stressed and so much anxiety. And then that manifests in the body. So it might start as a little discomfort and then it becomes chronic pain. And then it can actually become disease. And we're expressing on our gene function and creating pathology by not being in control of our autonomic nervous system. Mm -hmm. And it is reversible. And breathwork is one of the ways that you can change your gene expression, create neuroplasticity, and really heal yourself. So I'm so uh, excited that you had mentioned that because mm -hmm. we do go over those two functions. And it really is quite simple. Sometimes I just kind of think, you know what, universe, like... We get it now. We've made yeah. everything so difficult. Mm. And it really is just so simple. Back to basics. Back to your breath. Back to nature. But it's like you say, it's like, I mean, look, you know, we all, we all have to make money. We all have to live. We all have to work. We all have to do these things. But at the same time, there's certain things that are monetized that are, you know, it's it, the honestly, breathing is breathing. Yeah. It's But you do need, for this work... You do need a guide. You do need a guide. And but what you can then do as well, it's when I first trained to be a yoga teacher, I, I trained like over two decades ago because I just didn't want to have to keep paying to go to yoga classes. I never thought I'd end up teaching. I thought, well, then I'd just be able to do yoga myself, you know. Now I teach yoga, but I also go to a lot of classes because the energy that you get is just like connections that we have with each other's souls. You get these different energy from all different teachers, from all different facilitators. And that's what I love about this work is that it's it's so simplistic. It's scientific, but it's simplistic. But it's also such a beautiful practice. And it's so, it is so giving. Like, I'm just blown away. I said to you guys, I've not been this blown away about anything for decades. We're blown away by you too. Ah, but sure. I did want to say that we, <laughs> this last training, we incorporated a new section of the training, which is a daily practice. So with the bionic breathwork, you really do want to yeah. have a facilitator because you're going on a therapeutic journey. We incorporate neuro-linguistic programming in there. And there's a lot of things that we intentionally do as facilitators to kind of guide the journey and, and get you to the result you need. Um, it's different every time. But we've incorporated, thanks to Jamie here, a whole new section of daily breathwork practice, which... Um, Jamie's starting to teach me and it is something that you can do on your own yeah. at a no cost and it's something that is wonderful to do every day so Jamie I'd love if you kind of oh yeah about that. yeah Amazing. I mean this is something that I started doing um, I don't know eight months ago and really doing it just so that I could start my day with a really level nervous system, <laughs> you know, um, because I would wake up in the morning and I would feel that anxiety, like, oh my God, I've got so much to do today. I've got to go teach classes. I've got to run the business. I've got to get the kids to school, you know, and it's just, it was, you know, I, I was, I was starting my day really in a, in a high stress state, which is crazy because I've just been sleeping for eight or nine hours. Mm. Like, how am I waking up and feeling like that? So, I started doing this practice um, and it was just through research and finding exercises that I really liked and putting them together and creating almost like, you know, going through sort of a really strong practice and then into something more like a strong breath and then into something more um, sort of cleansing and then balancing. And then for the first time in my life, I could meditate. I've been trying to meditate for 15 <laughs> years and I would just sit in, in, in previously sit in meditation and just be like, Oh my God, my brain. Oh my God, what, what should I be doing? I shouldn't be here. I should be doing other things. There's so many things I need to do. Ticking off my to-do list, talk, thinking about my grocery list, you know. Um, and now, because I'm preparing my mind through breath, and I'm getting, I'm getting that kind of chatter through, you know, that, that strong yogic breath and the cleansing breath, and I'm calming, 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 and then taking it into that parasympathetic nervous system, 
I can now sit for an hour and, and it feels like five minutes. Mm. And I've never been able to do that. Like, and if anybody mm. even eight months ago said, yeah, you'll be able to meditate for an hour, I would never would have believed them. That's, so, and that is, that, that is amazing because that for medita- meditation, I, I remember again, when I trained in meditation, sitting for even two minutes was so painful. And it took two years, two years of my training to be able to sit for 40 minutes and it feel like five minutes. So when you say like eight months, and I mean, it's like when Terry says she'd start doing this a year and a half ago. I'm like, you know, I mean, I was just thinking Terry's just been doing this since she was born. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like when you said that to me at the weekend, I was just like, what? No, but, it, but like you say, it was your calling. It's like, you know, it's like with Jamie. It's like when Jamie tells you all the things that she, I mean, Jamie's done so many things. I'm sure people think the same when they talk to me too, but it's just such it's just your stuff. It just feels right. It's just when people are doing what they're meant to be doing and they're calling, you just, you're like, you can't believe how short they've been doing it for because it's so authentic and so intuitive. And that's what, I mean, you two are just, it was such a treat. I mean, all I would say about your training is I just wanted more one-to-ones please with you guys. Anytime. (laughs) Because I'm just greedy. I think that with this type of work and everybody that came through this last training, as you saw, everybody is just so ready to be out there and teaching. It's it's, it's, they've been preparing for it and you've been preparing for this your whole life. Yeah. So everything you've done up into this training with your yoga, with your NLP, with your hypnosis and stuff, all of that is going to make you this amazing breathwork facilitator that you already are. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the training attracts people Mm -hmm. that are ready. So I don't want you to wait another no. year. I don't want you to have to do 600 hours of what you're ready exactly. now. And it's almost a disservice if you guys aren't out there doing this right, work right away. When I did my training, I got my calling in my first breathwork class. I did my training right away and I started teaching the next day. That's so cool. You're ready. And everybody yeah. that's come through the training is ready. There is no reason to hold back on that. And just to kind of circle back to what Jamie was saying about the meditation. Yeah. Meditation is advanced. And how many times, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said that I can't meditate, my mind is Mm -hmm. too busy, well, this is a great gateway to meditation because we will shut your mind off for you. You don't have to worry about it. If you do, if you have human physiology and you breathe the way that we're showing you how to breathe, your mind will shut off. You don't have to do anything. Just trust the process. So I feel like people start with breath work and that takes them on a deeper journey into spirituality, meditation, but what we're trying to do with Bionic is make this accessible to the everyday person. So we know that people are already on their spiritual journey will be attracted to this work. We're trying to get people that wouldn't necessarily come into the room. Um, Holotropic breath work, the initial holotropic breath work, which is similar to this style, is three hours. Not everybody has three hours to go in and breathe, and not everybody would take that time out when they don't know what it is. So what we've done with Bionic is kind of make it bite size yeah. and accessible and to fun music and an experience where we're going to get CEOs, everyday people, you know, people that go to the yoga studio. And that's really important with what we're doing with Bionic is making it accessible to everybody. Yeah. All socioeconomic people, all sizes, yeah. all shapes, all yeah. cultures. Yeah. And I think that's really what we're trying to do because once people do it, they go and tell their spouses, you know, their friends. And the more people we have breathing, the more the collective conscious is going to benefit. Completely. I mean, that's it, isn't it? That is it. Because the the love that was in this room, oh, Oh, I just so am beautiful. still so high from it. I know. <laughs> Me too. I'm like back. And, and it, you know, when I said like the only thing about your teacher training is I want one-to-one. I have done a lot of training, as I know you guys have as well. Your teacher training was amazing. Thank you. I think that I've done a lot of training as well. And the one thing that I see with trainings is not feeling ready to, you know, use oh. the information. And I've done life coaching, NLP. I, I have a million initials after my name. But what really was important for me when I created this training is to make sure that you guys felt confident, you know, ready to go and out there spreading the word. And like, 
you know, the viewers can't see this, but we have somebody in their training here that's helping right now. I know. The, probably, and like, we've all become Andy. best friends. Yeah, Andy, you can't see him, but he's here. Andy's here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we all you, be Andy. become such, yeah, such, <laughs> such good friends with yeah. one another and want to help each other. And you guys are all going to go on to help facilitate either the other's courses. The, the trainees from the first training are all out there teaching and it's helping amazing. each other and changing the world. So that was what the most important part to me was you don't need 600 hours. You don't need six months. You need to know that you have the passion and willingness to want to help people. And then you got everything you need. I mean, I just never, ever, ex which is what's so beautiful about it. I never, ever expected it to be this. I Surprise. honestly, Surprise. I, know, I know. I mean, you're not surprised. Jamie's not surprised, but I'm like, Oh, I was surprised. When oh, Terry, yeah. in Costa Rica, when we were on this retreat, and Terry's like, I'm going to do a breathwork session for you guys. I remember thinking, oh, yeah, I've done breathwork before. This is just going to be like a little bit of relaxation and laying on the mat. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, what the <laughs> hell just happened? My friend and I looked at each other and we're like, what was that? <laughs> oh, my God. The funny part about that was this was a psilocybin retreat in Costa Rica. And the most impactful thing was the breath work. <laughs> what does that more, say? More, more craziness with the breath work than the actual psilocybin. Yeah, so, yeah it's, uh, we have the power to do that. And again, yeah. that wasn't anything I was doing as a facilitator. That was just trusting that the breath is going to take you there. And every journey, just kind of like psilocybin or other plant medicines, Every journey is different. And then in this training, we, like you said, we breathe so much. Yeah. And every session, everybody got something else that comes up. So yes. usually at the initial, you're working out trauma and stuff, and then you're getting into the creativity and the mysticism as you continue to clear, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what I love about it. Even if you think I'm going to lay down, I'm going to work on this issue that I have with my best friend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what? What's going to, your body's going to give you exactly what you need. It's, it, that's exactly it. You just, you just have to just go into it because if you, like you say, if you think about something, something else will come. Exactly. Yep. You do not know what's coming. I mean, I mean, it, 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 it's like you say, there are no coincidences and it was only like, oh my God, a week ago that I even said to Jamie, oh, this is what I'm going to call myself, the catalyst coach, elevate your growth. And I just, you know, I've been wanting to do Coco coach it I just didn't know I was just like it takes me a long time to get to where I needed to get and I was like no the catalyst that's like fast tracks you like it's like a chain reaction it makes things speed up I love that and then guess what I do this and now it works like I'm like elevate your growth well it's elevating my growth so you know it's gonna elevate everyone's growth it, 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 it just you can't make it up you just cannot make that stuff up that's the stuff that's real that's the stuff that is just sets my soul on fire and it's like you say it's everything brings you to where you need to be when you are surrounded by the right people I think that is so important because also what I've really learned this weekend which I feel is very important to share is that protecting your energy because um you know you're not in a negative way but it's you, I've learned a lot more about boundaries over this weekend myself through this process of of unpeeling um it's not been like you've sat down and gone right now today we're going to talk about boundaries and today we're going to talk like you know if we do NLP or anything like that as we've both done what we're going to do it, it's just been very intuitive learning that I've already done a few things, like I said to Jamie and you this morning, that I would probably not have done before and said, actually, God, you know, I'm in this kind of mood, so, you know, da, 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 da. just setting clear, healthy, kind boundaries and just honouring my space. I've not done that before. That's incredible. That's like, I mean, that you know, when I say the monetize things, this this is just magic because this is stuff that, would pay millions of pounds for and like you're saying this has to be accessible to everybody yes everyone has to make a living but equally it's so beautiful what a gift you gave to me in three days I won't I'm not gonna cry because as you both know when I cry I sound like I'm laughing so it's just really weird really weird you'll and make you will me vouch cry for that <laughs> <laughs> you may make me cry. A lot of work that we do, and this is kind of a buzzword right now, so I don't really like to use it, but the inner child work. Yeah. But a lot of things, the way we navigate our lives and how we react and interact with people, a lot of it is trauma response. Yeah. And if we start getting into that and clearing that, then we really do step into our power. We're shedding limiting beliefs. Um, and you're carrying on things that may not 
even be yours. Mm. And that's the thing that we haven't talked about yet is epigenetics. And now again, that we have the science to prove this, we've proven that you can be carrying on trauma from your, you know, generations prior to you. And there've been a lot of studies. And the one that I really think is the easiest to understand is this mice study where they had some lab mice and they exposed the lab mice to lavender. And it was, you know, this really nice scent and the mice loved it. And then every time they were exposed to the lavender, they got shock therapy. And then, so of course that made them not want to be anywhere near the lavender. And then for seven generations of mice after that initial generation, anytime they were exposed to the lavender, they ran away. Mm -hmm. So they were never got the shock therapy themselves, but it lived on their DNA. Mm -hmm. So they were having these stress responses to things that they didn't even experience. And they've done other studies with people that have been through famine or war. Mm -hmm. So it is in our control to have that generational trauma stop with us. And the way to do that is through breath work and through neuroplasticity. And that, and, and that is exactly, you know, as you say, Jamie, that is, <laughs> if we're all doing that, what, how, Pat, like, you, you know, you're all about community. We talked a lot this weekend about community and the community you've already, you know, you know, I'm like your biggest fan, girl crush, sister <laughs> from another mister, whatever you want to call it. You're going to have to fight me for her. Yeah. Oh, which, I love which, you both. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Equally, please. <laughs> but, you know, it's just to, when you meet people that bring people together. That uh, you know, I, I've always liked to think that I'm someone that is a connector. I like to connect mm -hmm. and to meet other people that connect and want to collaborate. But Jamie, what she's brought to the town—I mean, I've born in this town, you know, I've been here forever—and what you've brought to the community is just exciting. I don't go and dance anywhere else in Tunbridge Wells at 48 years old other than SPN on the last Friday of every month. And well, I that's why we do it. I love it. It's, There's nowhere for us to dance, you know, without so being good. judged. I'm just like, I don't care. I'm like there, right in front of the decks, and I'm just dancing solid. And But just the community and this now is like, we, because all the beautiful people we're meeting, all the beautiful connections we're making, real soul connections. And it's really hard in our adult life to meet new people, yep. you know, despite, you know, uh, you know, at the school gates yeah. or through work or whatever. But when you can actually meet like minded people who kind of have the same values yeah. and but yet bring something different to the table, like it's so amazing to, to have those connections, those yeah. new connections, you know, and it's it's so rare. It's really rare. It's I mean, it's going to get less rare because of you guys and what you're doing. Because it's just so, it's so, I mean, this is big. I mean, I have not had a vision of, I, I think the last time I had something like that was probably the big chat in when we were in the pandemic and I just sort of literally woke up one morning and was like, right, that's what I'm doing. And then I got Hugh Humor to come and, to, you know, graph up my studio space and that was it. And then I was just doing it because I was like, I need to get people talking. But I've not had anything but I feel like almost podcasting for me, I love doing it and I love talking to people, but I really loved teaching the breath work. And it was like, ah, this is my voice. This is where my voice is coming in. It's like, I, I loved guiding, you know, I, I really enjoy that. And it's just takes me into myself and out of myself as well. Do you know what I mean? It's just such a beautiful thing. You're natural. And I'm so excited to like follow you and your journey and everybody that you trained with. And I feel like you guys are all just going to be amazing at really helping and changing people's lives and like what a cool thing like that's your job <laughs> like your job is just having people breathe and yeah. like fall apart in front of you yeah. and then being there to create a safe space like no better job than that and everybody that came through is ready because they've been working their whole life up into that point and a, a lot of times people who are attracted to this type of work it's because they've had their own trauma yeah you know yeah. and and i think that in life that's how we find our purpose and purpose always starts with service and if we've been able to get through something that was tough for us to get through and then we're able to help the next person like uh, a good friend of ours collectively uh, naomi had said something during a sound bath that we had at the graduation ceremony and she said all you have to really be is one step ahead of that next person to help somebody. That's and it. I thought that was so beautifully I I, said. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we're never going to know it all, you know. And so we just trust that the breadth is a work 
and that our experiences that led us up to the moment that we start t- teaching is enough to help that next person. And that's all it takes. We're all in this together. It's just too exciting. I know. What's going to like? What's gonna happen next with you guys then? So what are you like? <laughs> World domination. <laughs> <laughs> well, always. I mean, that just happens. That's just like, you know, I mean, yeah. DJ Cookie Jamie. I mean, who who is it going to be next year? You know, seriously, who am I going to be? Who am I going to be interviewing next year? Like, I'll remember this year, next year when we'll be like. But it is. It's just we're all so many versions of ourselves, and we all bring so many things. But what are you guys going to? Because you're in the states, like you say, this is one of the fastest growing modalities. It's everywhere, but also the states. They are always. It's a bit ahead. I mean, certainly, you know, I, I like fashion in the UK, but every time I go to LA, I come back and I've got a bit more of a spring in my step. Do you know what I mean? So it's coming to the UK now. You're getting more ambassadors. Like you say, more people are going on the next teach training, which they can get more info. We'll put all the links in below this and everything else. But talk a bit more about, about your world domination, please. Either of you. So for <laughs> my plan is I think... That it's all timing. Yeah. Um, and in L.A., like you said, like this is work even six months ago. Mm-hmm. People didn't really know what it is. And now people are talking about it. We've got celebrity clients that are out there really talking about it. And that's kind of where it starts. Um, and I really just think like, again, my goal would just be to continue to train as many people and create my own competition. I don't want to be gatekeeping that. anything. Um, I'm going to give everybody all the tips and tools, things that work for me, things that didn't work for me. And then the next step is to just have master trainers like you guys. And then, you know, so that I can't be everywhere all at once. So the next step is really just create you guys that have already been through the training to be the master trainers and train more and have that ripple effect. Uh, I do think it's a modality that just needs to be out there in a big way. The timing is right because people are open to it. There's a big shift in consciousness and this woo-woo stuff that was really like just reserved for the, the, you know, the people that were into that, you know, kind of on the outside are now people really are stressed and looking for ways to heal. Yeah. Things haven't been working for them and looking for something new. So it's a really good time to be into this type of work because I think people are finally open to doing this type of thing and really want to heal. Yes. Jamie? Yeah. I mean, we'll be running regular teacher trainings twice a year in the UK. We're looking at doing some residential teacher trainings in other places. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough months in the year. Every time I come That's and teach Jamie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, can you just tell me in January what I'm doing for the year, <laughs> please? Because now I'm going to Ibiza again this year, of course. And it's like, I mean, just every year I'm going to be going to Ibiza. So, but sorry, Jamie. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's, again, like Terry said, just spreading the love, spreading the word and, you know, training more teachers. It'd be great to have facilitators yeah. in Europe, in the Middle East yeah. and, uh, you know, other countries. I think the more we get the name out and the more that we get the the method out and yes. the more people experience it, you know, the better, the better we'll, we will all be. And it's an absolute honor to be a Bionic Breathwork ambassador. Honestly. I'm so happy to have you. I'm like, honestly, whatever I do in my own stuff, it's like, bionic in my bones i like that Honestly, bionic in my bones that might be in my bones what? we love you your pr like that's our new slogan now it's just done a bionic, bionic in, in my bones. bones yeah i'm bionic in my bones keep coming up with them girl. i need to find a tune don't i that's yeah. like i'm bionic in my bones no you need to make a tune babe oh yeah i can make it and a... see look she's like this mm. she's like vibe off this woman she's like she's like no 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 you need to make it okay yeah okay it was, it was so funny this morning i was like because one of the most amazing things i shouldn't say this because i'm gonna set you up for the next tt but I, you know i'm gonna say that one of the things with this tt oh my god the food like any retreat that you guys are a part of right i'm i am saying this from ibiza from being here the food is off the scale Crazy. amazing like right it's just unbelievable and i just said to jamie this morning i was like i put on like Two, two kilograms like this weekend and she was like babe like I lost weight this, that's that's not how, you know I wasn't complaining I was just like you know and this morning I was just thinking it's because of all this 
I'm building muscle, you know, that's what it is. Muscle weighs more than fat, right? <laughs> I kind of reminded myself that I had a giant slab of cheesecake <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> and Jamie's like, yeah, babe, that's that's where that came from. It wasn't the vegan ketotarian vegan. food that you've been eating all weekend. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. It was, but the food was so beautiful. And I'm like, you know, Jamie's kindly said she's going to come and give me a cupboard reshuffle at some point because yeah. it... it Honestly, that is so part of it as well, is what well, you put in your body. Nourish your body, nourish your mind, exactly. right? And if you f- if you feed yourself well, then your brain works better, your yes. body works better, your digestion works better, your breath works better. Yes. So, you know, it's a nice opportunity when you're in these sort of, you know, intensive three days yeah. to be able to kind of, I don't know, just bring yourself back to that really the basic, real good quality food. Because it does make a huge difference in the way you feel. And in three days, amazing. Like, amazing. It, honestly, and it j- just, I mean, yeah. Because we had a couple of people that were like, I never thought that vegan food could taste this good. <laughs> Didn't we? we always, yeah. and, and in Ibiza, I mean, do you remember in Ibiza? We were just every day. Because we were just like, what? what? <laughs> God, what is this? This is just, but you're right. Well, you can use so many flavors and so many, I mean, I think vegan foods moved a long way in 20 years, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of options in terms of, you know, spices and yeah, I think we're just super lucky to have inspiring chefs out there who are creating really brilliant recipes as well, you know? Yeah. And not only that, I think that, that when we're doing these trainings, it is really everything it's not just the training but it's It's the set and setting so with with the vegan food and jamie's amazing menu again that created you know an experience in this location and being near nature so very different than my breath work facilitator training i was in a ballroom with no windows and you know you know in the middle of a suburb so that is something that we are really being conscientious of yeah. is creating an environment for people to learn and grow and thrive. Yeah. And it is, it, it the, to be the inspired. food is part of it yeah. and nature is part of it. And you know, who we attract is part of it. Yes. It just happens that we are attracting people that are vibrating at the same high level. Yeah. That's who's coming in. So yeah. we don't worry about that. Everybody that comes in is a match. Yes. And they're called to it. So that's why I tell people, if you're being called to do this work and the training is calling to you, that's a sign that you're supposed to do it. Totally. If it's not a hell yes, it's a no. It, and we've had plenty of people that are like mm-hmm. asking about it. And if there just weren't, or maybe, I don't know, I don't know if I can get babysitter. It's not your time, you know? So everybody that was here in this training and the training before that, it was a hell yes from that. And that's what we need. And that's, so, do you know what? That's so true. Cause I always just say to people, I'm like, so see, I'd just rather have a, a, a fast yes than a slow no, because you know, right? Like I'm, I, I'm you, you know, there's been occasions that I've suggested things and then I'm like, oh, maybe not, but very rarely. Like I, I've always been pretty intuitive with what I want and spontaneous. And, you know, my friend in LA, she's always like, when I first met out with her after 17 years, she was like, you should come to LA. And the next week I was out there and she was like, I don't know anyone like that. Well, I know lots of people like that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for all the hell yeses. <laughs> yeah. It's true though, isn't it? But you're right. It's that yeah. calling and it is. And I just, I, I just love the fact that you're, I love the fact that you guys are really working on this together and you're coming to Ibiza, aren't you? I'm working on that. Come on. I have, it's a hell I, yes. It's a hell yes. <laughs> I do we're not, have we're a, just going to kidnap you otherwise, Terry. It's like, you seriously. I do have an LA training. We didn't coordinate that. You the need best, more but master trainers. True. In LA. True, true. Because, you know, you can't do it all, right? So um, Andy's in the background saying, I'll do it for you. <laughs> yeah. We, we've got a volunteer. We've got a volunteer. It. Yes. We're working it. We're working it. And this is what it's all about. Like, yeah. I, I've never, even from the day I started Bionic, I never envisioned it just being me. And from the second that I, you know, stepped into that work, I've just met this, the best people. I met Jamie. Like, it was so random. And then that led to one thing. This led to one thing. And like, I couldn't have done it without her. I'm so grateful for that meeting. And we've become best friends. And I really think that that's what this work brings. Now, Mm -hmm. everybody, we're just one big family. And the family's just going to grow and grow and grow. And I'm just so excited to just have all these people. And I can't wait to have everybody in LA. And we're going to have one big slumber party. I just invite anyone that knows just try this. Just try it. Just check out Terry's 
check out Terry's site, check out her socials, check out Jamie's stuff she's doing. I'm going to be doing more stuff. I'm going to definitely do a class like maybe like next week, week after. I'm I'm going to do it and and then I'm going to be doing my own thing as well with you guys because just like you say, more people and I just and what I love about what you say, Terry, and I know that Jamie's the same, is there's no competitiveness. It's like you want to, like I always, I, it used to drive me crazy, like going, even on teacher trainings that I've been on or coaching trainings where everyone's so competitive with each other. And I've always been really open. And sometimes that's, but sometimes people take advantage of that. That's just something I've had to learn. But you know what? I'd rather be that way because I have my own competitive compass in me. I know when I'm doing what's best for me and I drive myself and I've, my children have that too. And I'm really pleased that they have that from me um, because it's ambitious, but it's not based on being better than someone else. And what I love is that you are like that. You just want to share it with everyone. And then what happens is everyone grows in the way they're naturally meant to. And that creates success in whatever form or way it means to that person. And that could be many things. It's not just counting dollar bills or, you know, losing weight or putting on weight or whatever, or any of these, getting healthier, any of these things. It's, it's This is expansion of consciousness, which if the planet doesn't do, it's what we're meant to do on this planet. Yeah, I, th I do think that's true. And I think that I learn as much from you guys and all the trainees every time as you guys learn from me. Mm -hmm. And... You know, nobody knows at all and nobody's going to as much as if we give away all the secrets and and really don't gatekeep anything. Everybody's going to be different in yeah. their facilitating and everybody's going to attract the students that are meant to be their students. Yeah. So we saw that with all six of you yeah. got up and taught a full class. Yeah. And each was such a different, beautiful experience yeah. because you each brought your own authenticity to it and that's really what we're looking for i'm just teaching you the technique the science and a couple of things and then what you're doing is really bringing your true authentic self into the room and nobody can duplicate that there's not going to be another coco there's not going to be another andy or jamie or terry yeah. and everybody that comes in and does their own you know kind of their own t tweaks to it beautiful yeah i think the thing that i've definitely taken away as well is when you walk in and you're in a breathwork room and you're lying under blankets and you've got these lovely eye masks on and you're all snuggled and then you've got your beautiful guide standing there not wearing quite as much as you, I now understand why. <laughs> <laughs> I've never... Do not wear a jumper and joggers. The purge. If you're a mask, the purge. I was if wondering where she was going with that. I, know, I was I like, you, didn't I? She, she was like, thought I was going to be really serious. Yeah. And I was like, sneaky. Uh, but my, it was. My, my stress hormones started to spike. <laughs> I'm like, where is she taking that? No, because, not that I judged anyone, but you know, you're like, everyone else is like really cozy and really snuggy. And it's like, oh, it's like blankets and lovely. And then you're basically in your, you're, you know, you're, you're in your workout gear. You need to be as the guide. Because I tell you what, you sweat a lot, especially if you're in a jumper that's a bit like this. It was not a good look. Jamie can't erase that from I will head. never erase that memory from my mind. <laughs> but I think that's really important to bring up because we're trying to create a physiological change in the yes. body with this work. So if people are just laying down and breathing like they normally do, yeah. they're not going to have any physiological changes. So when we're doing this work at the beginning of the breath work, it's kind of like a cryo effect. So you'll feel really, really cold as though you've stepped into a cryo machine. And then at the end, once you're coming back into your parasympathetic, we spike the hormones. We intentionally go into the sympathetic. People are like, that's crazy. Why would we do that? Yeah. Well, the way reason we do that is very intentional because that's the only way we can work somatically. Yeah. And then after that, we take you back to your parasympathetic. So as the facilitator or the student, you're going through these extreme temperature changes. And at the end, when you're in your parasympathetic, it's almost like an animal. If you've ever seen an animal escape a predator, yeah, they start shaking and sweating. Yeah. It's because, you know, you've had this excess cortisol, epinephrine and stuff, and it's just your body releasing it. So it's a sweat purge and it's so crazy. It just kind of pours Amazing. out of you. And yeah. I, I like to just kind of think of it and tell your students, like, this is a good thing. You're like releasing everything yeah. almost like... 
a detox. It's like a sauna. Let it go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Self-made sauna. Two, two for one. You get breath work and a sauna session and, and a cryo session. Three for one. We should be charging more now that I think about it. <laughs> we talk about this off air. Yeah. Uh, but it, honestly, I just, it, is it, how can everyone find you? Okay, so my handles are all Bionic Breathwork. We'll have everything on here um, too, but yeah. yeah. Super easy. All handles are Bionic Breathwork. So Instagram, Facebook, um, that's the best way to find me. At Bionic Breathwork at gmail.com if you want to uh, message me. But yeah, super easy. So please come find me. She's so yummy. Jamie, how do we find you? SPN.fit. <laughs> just, just like, just, why is Jamie so sexy when she's giving her handles? SPN.fit. SPN. <laughs> I know you want to see when she DJs. Seriously, I'm just like, oh, you I like I have to do mine over again in a oh sexy God. okay bionic breath work. <laughs> I can't do it. Just, I can't. Just not do, as sexy as you are. No, I can't do the catalytic coach. Does, does oh, it? Yeah. That works. That worked for me. I just, I just think <laughs> let's chat change. That created a physiological change in me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, honestly, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you for your hospitality again, Jamie. Oh my Jamie. gosh, thanks, Coco. Because, you know, this isn't thanks, my new Terry. set, guys. I'm sorry. I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> I've slightly upgraded since my last one. But no, this is, But honestly, your the, the teacher training was amazing. Terry, what a gift to have found this modality and now taking it out and bionic breathwork to then to... I know there's no coincidences, but... Jamie, well done, you manifesting generator that you are, honestly, because that's how it happens. I am like going to spread the word like wildfire. This will too. And we will just, you know, we will create a great thing with this. I know we will. And I'm really excited to see where this takes all of us. But especially you, Terry, because you are so gentle and kind and sweet and giving and loving. And you just expect nothing. And that is just the most beautiful, pure thing. And uh, I see that. I see that. And um, yeah, you just deserve all of this and more that you have no expectation. You do. You really, really do. You really, really do. So, yeah. I You're really... going to make me cry now. But I, I do have expectation. I have expectation that all of you guys are going to step see, into look, your she's power. Giving now. Yeah. She's giving it back yeah. now. <laughs> and, uh, and, and go out there. That's all I really want I is, know, you know, lovely. to see you guys succeed. And that makes me the happiest because I see every single one of you are meant to do this work and came yeah. here for a reason. And that's all I ask is that you don't get in your own way, you know, and, and, and shed all those limiting beliefs, imposter syndrome, everything, every single person that's come through is more than ready. Mm. And it would be a disservice for you guys not to be out there teaching like right now, like today. Okay. Okay. I mean, what, like now? Do you need to do <laughs> like it now? now? Like after this, after this Are session, we we're going to lay down and go. Yeah. yeah. I'm up. I'm in for it. <laughs> yeah. Are you up? Andy, You've got James? enough people here. I mean. You up? <laughs> James is, James, like, James is like, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> James's face just when he came in this morning and it was like, right, first you've got to go in that cold plunge pool <laughs> before you even start filming. I mean, I think we should make that a given now. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Thank Thank you so much Coco. for having I us. I love you both Thank so you. much, love honestly. You. I can't Thank tell you how much. And I, I honestly, like this is called me like I have not been called for so I've so needed this. I've been so sad the last few months and I am so happy right now. Like uh, it's just, um, yeah, I have not had it, but it is the clarity. It's this clarity, but it's not something that you can drop. You know, it's like uh, you, you, you have to keep working with this. It's like everything you have to, just because you do it, it's not something that you just do once and then, oh, everything's okay. It's great. This is something that is important. Part, like now I'm like, you know, this morning breathing, those breathing exercises, those shorter ones are such a great part of integral part of the training too, because those are tools that everyone should be able to do and get access to. Yeah. So thank you. Thank and you. I could just talk to you forever, but we better stop now. Just breathe. Just breathe. I love it. Yeah. Just breathe. Bionic breathe to bones. believe. Breathe to believe. <laughs> breathe to believe it's in your bionic bones, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this, right. this is a time we start getting silly. So. I know, we get silly. <laughs> okay, listen, we're very serious, right? You'll have no fun if you come to any of our breathwork sessions <laughs> whatsoever. It's just going to be really traumatic. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be exactly like you said. 
it will give you what you need. That's it. Yeah. And you don't know what that is. I think I said in my my session because it was how I felt. If you're if you're wondering why you're here, like, or if you're wondering, you know, what brought you here, the why will be apparent at the end of the session. Because that's what I felt. I didn't know what brought me there. But at the end of it, I knew why. Mic drop. Boom. Yeah. I love you guys. Love you too. Love you too. Thank you Thank so much, you. Coco. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you, James. Bye. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.